Connection. Good morning, dolphins. I'm Chase from Miss Kinlaw's class. And I'm Sora from Miss Kinlaw's class. And, and this, this is, is the WNTE, WNTE News. Today's date is Friday, February 11th. Today's Make a Friend Day. February is a great month to practice kindness. As Valentine's Day approaches on Monday, make sure to try and include everyone. If you see someone alone at recess, ask them to play or see if you like some of the same TV shows or video games. A little effort goes a long way. I hope you make a new friend today. It is also National Inventors Day. On February 11, 1983, U.S. President Ronald Reagan declared this day to be National Inventors Day. The date was selected as Thomas Edison, the greatest inventor in U.S. history, was born. On this day in 1847 in Milan, Ohio, while Edison was perhaps best known for inventing the light bulb, he held over a thousand patents. Just look at the computer in the phone, for example. We've come a long way. Dolphins, what do you think will be the next great invention? Good morning, Dolphins. I'm Fisherman Fred, and this is your weekend weather report. Today is going to be a nice day with mostly sunny skies. The high is 64 and the low is 46. Winds are currently coming from the south, bringing the warmer temperatures. That makes me happy. There is no chance of precipitation today or tomorrow. Enjoy it while it lasts. By Sunday, the wind is switching and coming from the north again. Guess what? That means cold old temperatures. That's not good. When warm and cold temperatures collide, we tend to get rain. And that is what we will see on Sunday. Cold old temperatures and rain. Please don't be upset at me. I just delivered the weather. Luckily, Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, so we get a big... Hold on. Hot Luckily, hot Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, so get a big old hot bowl of chili <laughs> and stay warm while you watch the game. Three, two... Luckily, Super Bowl is the... Ah, Sunday, is Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> Luckily, Bowl Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. Three, two... Luckily, Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, so get a big hot bowl of chili and stay warm while you watch the game. Stay dry, stay dry. Oh, I said stay dry, <laughs> I was stay, dry. stay warm, stay dry, and be safe. Three, two. Stay warm, stay dry, and be safe this weekend. Dog, 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 pom, 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 pom. <laughs> stay warm, stay dry. Hold on, two one more time. Here we go. Three, two. Stay warm, stay dry, and be safe this weekend, Dolphins. Back to you, Wankers! Happy birthday yesterday to Sydney Brock and Miss Fulbright's class, Brooke Ross and Miss Keene's class, and Mrs. Jordan. Sorry we missed you yesterday. Happy birthday today to Liam Merritt and Miss Wartman's class, Emma Ashton and Miss Dodge's class, and staff member Miss Sonia Garvey. Happy birthday on Saturday to Fisher Crisco and Miss Falzenski's class and Connor Sampson and Miss Berger's class. Happy birthday Sunday to Lily Schwartz and Miss Wells' class. Happy birthday, everyone. <laughs> Happy birthday! Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a school pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to be safe, well prepared, and in control, and make respectful choices. You may be seated. In school news, we have a special segment today. Our news anchor, Addison Crawford, got to sit down with local radio personality, business owner, and football coach, Foz. She has some great questions, and he has some awesome answers. Take it away, Addison. You may have heard this local celebrity and never even saw him. That's the difference between the news like I do and the radio. You probably know his voice, but never knew what he looked like. Today we are interviewing Foz from our popular radio station, Z107. Happy to be 
here. Thank you for having me. This is amazing. First question. Yes. Are you nervous to be interviewed by me? No, because you're a pro, but I knew this would be easy. You're good at what you do. I've seen your newscasts. I knew this would be great and wonderful. Thank you. Okay. You have your own morning show. What time is it on? It's on at 6 in the morning. That means I get up at 4 in the morning every morning, and my son will tell you every morning I have to get up at 4 o'clock. <laughs> and I'm out the door by about 4.45. And uh, we get everyone up and moving in the morning just like you do at your school. What time do you have to get in for your job? We wake up at like 5.50. Okay. We're there by 6.45. Yes, sir. You'll be ready for the promo. How did you decide to do radio? When I was a kid, I used to love to listen to a local radio show and I just thought it would be fun to do that for a living. And then once I got into the business, I really enjoyed it. And um, I would say I absolutely love radio and certainly doing it in this time of paradise. I can't imagine doing anything else. Okay. How long have you worked at Zoomers? 18 years. How old are you? Oh. A lot longer than you have been like. 18 years I have been at Z1075. My favorite part of Z1075 is the horoscopes. What is yours? Uh, just all of it. Just getting paid to play and listen to music and help the community and tell jokes. I love every bit of the radio and being on the radio. It's fun. Just like being on the news, right? Telling people what's going on, um, interacting with people. If your school ever needs something, I'm sure people will come to you and you'll be able to tell the student body and everyone can help each other. It's a powerful position. Media. It's a powerful, powerful position. How many people work at the radio station? About 24, 25. Yeah. Who is the most famous person you've interviewed? The most famous person I've interviewed or met. Um, Tim McGraw, Will Ferrell. We just interviewed Johnny Knoxville for his movie. And when all the shows come to town, Nelly and Snoop and all the concerts that have come to town, we've interviewed all those celebrities. Radio is always the center of all entertainment. So whatever entertainment's coming through town or out there in the world, we're attached to it and communicate with those people. Who is the most requested artist you get asked to play? The most requested artist? Probably Kid Leroy or Juice World by my son because he won't stop. <laughs> Um, anything Justin Bieber seems to be pretty good, right? Uh, uh, Taylor Swift, everyone loves Taylor Swift. Everything gets requested. Yeah. Who inspired you to do the radio? Who inspired me to do the radio? Really myself. I didn't have any family or any, um, there was nobody really pushing me to get into radio. It was just something I always had an interest in. So I took it upon myself to go uh, find out where I could go get educated. I went to a broadcasting school. And they taught me a few things about how to do it, and then it was off and running. Mm -hmm. It was really myself pushing myself to do it. Yeah. yeah. So, some fun facts for you. Yeah. You volunteer as a football coach for I-9 Sports. Yes, I do. What's the score? What's, what do you, what's the score? Like, your wins and losses. Oh, we're 4-0. Oh, we're undefeated. What? What? Yeah. All right, well, it's your brother's fault. Cole Max. It's Cole Max's fault. He's an amazing quarterback. These two, they're the reason we're 4 0, and all the other teammates, but these two right here. Alright? That's our amazing pre safety and running back, and that's our amazing quarterback. And these guys are great football players. So, you own Revival Skincare. Yeah. And you also own Point Blank. Yeah. Cole, you love the wing TV. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Right here. Great wings, chicken wraps. If you like grilled chicken wings, you got to come to Point Break. It's incredible. And the ranch dressing. Pour on everything. Everything. <laughs> Thanks for letting me interview. You. Oh, You're amazing. Thank you for your time. And congratulations on your job here at the school. This is an, it's an important job to inform the kids on what's going on. Mm -hmm. And you're doing an amazing job. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for having me. So, go eat at Point Break. And What a great interview, especially right before Super Bowl Sunday this weekend. It's the Cincinnati Bengals versus the LA Rams. Some of you watch for the game, some watch for the commercials, some are there for the halftime show, and some of you just want the food. Whatever you do, have fun this weekend. 
Be safe this weekend, and remember, it's just a game. Also, if watching football is something your family does together, don't forget a picture for this week's book challenge and send it in. I'm Soren. And I'm Chase. Have an awesome... I'm going to pause there. Also, if watching football is something your family does together, don't forget to get a picture for this week's book challenge and send it in. I'm Soren. And I'm Chase. Have an awesome weekend, Dolphins. Don't forget to swim to success. And just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just so who's winning the Super Bowl, guys? Bengals! Rams! I don't know. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Rams.